Hello, I'm not Chuck, and as you can see, I'm just coming out of a touchless car wash. I went through the car wash because I was too lazy to clean the windshield, and I wanted you to be able to see through it, so I figured that was the easiest way to get my windshield cleaned. I'm recording this on my GoPro Hero 7 Black. It's not really black, it's kind of a light gray, but the model is a Hero 7 Black. And I know you've seen a lot of reviews on the Hero 7 Black and otherwise. And I suspect you already know that it has a built-in stabilization in the camera. And you've probably already seen a lot of reviews on that particular feature. And it really does work well. It doesn't work as well as a outboard gimbal, but it comes pretty close. And I have the Hero 7, mine, sitting on the dash, looking through the windshield of my truck. And right now I'm on a pretty smooth road. And so it's a pretty smooth picture, I think. I haven't looked at it as of this moment in time. But I think it probably is a pretty, uh, pretty uh, steady picture. But I'm going to turn off this nice smooth road and get on a bumpy road. And I want you to see how well the Hero 7 does coping with the bumps in the road. It really does amazingly well. The first thing you might notice is how it handles the corners like the one I just turned. Um, it's, it's amazing that it senses that I'm going around a corner and, make, and it sort of smooths out the turn in the corner. In fact, if you back up and watch that portion of the video again, you can see how that the picture and the front of the truck don't turn at exactly the same rate. And that's a function of the automatic stabilization in the Hero 7. Now, this road is, as you can hear, a little bit bumpy. There's some bumps, and I can see the uh, GoPro kind of jumping around on the dash. I don't have it in a suction cup mount. I have it sitting on a, uh, on a dash mount, which is something that I built and something that I also want to show you and talk to you about. All right, we're turning off the main highway now, going past uh, the driving range next to the golf course. And this is a not a terrible road, but it's a pretty bumpy paved road. And uh, it's not too bad right here, but a little further down we hit some pretty significant bumps in the road. And I believe you'll be able to hear the bumps, and as you hear them, I want you to uh, notice how stabilized and how little response there is uh, in the picture. No shaking, even though we're hitting some pretty significant bumps. can see the camera shaking a fair amount on the dash, but if I'm correct, and I believe I am, you won't see much of that shaking in the picture. than I have. They've patched some of the spots in the road, but still a few bumps here to test the camera with. Again, I can see the camera shaking on the dash. It's just sitting on the dash. With, uh, without any restraint whatsoever. Okay, we're about to come back out on the highway. And I'm going to stop at this stop sign just a second and show you the second thing I want to show you about my GoPro mount. Put the truck in park. And now I'm going to rotate the camera. I'm going to give you a 360 degree view with the camera. 
but you're going to have to watch quickly. How was that for a 360? Maybe you'd like to see it again a little more slowly. What I've done is I've built a motorized mount for my GoPro. I can cause it to rotate for as long as I want it to rotate at one of three different speeds. This happens to be the slowest speed. Here's the medium speed, which is probably still a little too fast for panning. I'll, uh, I'll take the unit out of the truck and give you a look at how it looks. I can't use it to photograph itself, so I'll have to uh, use a different camera. Here's a shot of the Hero 7 on the dash of the truck. As you can see, it's mounted on a small gray plastic box. There's a power cord coming into the box on this end. That's connected to the 12 volt battery in the truck. The whole system runs off 12 volts. There are three switches on the top of the uh, box. A yellow one which is medium speed, a green which is fast, and a blue which is very slow speed in terms of rotating the camera. I'll uh, press the yellow button so you can watch the camera rotate. You can also hear the motor Here's the fast rotation speed. As you can see, that's mainly for repositioning the camera. And here's an extra slow rotation speed. And that's used for fine positioning the camera so that when you get it pointed exactly where you want it, or stop it right where you want it. And there's one GoPro looking into the face of another. GoPro, turn off.